thin shell concrete dome structure design shell design by Michael Mukaira Usually concrete shell design is commonly called the thin shell concrete structure and one of the kind of examples we have the Sydney Opera House which is one of the most photographed buildings in the world it's known for its unique series of glimmering white cell shaped shells and its uh, roof structure. Concrete dome structures in Atikad. Uh, we can start with a circle to it's a couple of kilometers. Mm. Radius 4.5. Then we pick the shell tool. Follow that same arc. You can see this in 3D. This is the shell we have. So we can edit the thickness of the shell. Convert this to basic. We can use 100 millimeters. Then we can elongate this uh, somewhere here, after which we can open up that uh, straight a bit up. Go back to plan, take a section. The section along here, let us limit our section line to our drawing. Uh, we take this section, this is what we get. Put up this to zero and then rotate it to ground. Just click here, pick the rotation tool, rotate this to ground, go back on plan, remove the act edges, and uh, we can also pick a uh, working shape. Let's say uh, nine meters uh, by one point eight or by eighteen meters. So we can extend this back to the same arrangement, then extend it up to this shape. Now once we've done that we can divide this in two four portions. One, two, these portions are uh, just uh, done in how not in a particular order. But visually what you think can be uh, working. Then we can uh, can take this inside, bring this outwards, bring this inside. And again take this outwards. Somewhere like there. Now if we look at this section again. 
uh, this is what it gives us something slightly of six meters that's fine now uh, we can create a slab for which uh, this is uh, best this slab let it be uh, 150 millimeters uh, of ground so when we look at this in 3d we have something like this okay so this concrete shell uh, the thickness is thin we want to create some other uh, openings glass openings into this shell so we shall go back pick a copy of this drag a copy uh, and offset it at a specific distance let's say 1.8 meters 18 meters uh, then convert this now its material into a glass material uh, let's use this glass blue all of it then this one uh, we can leave it in concrete now having done that we can create some other slab pieces that are able to create some openings into this one this one i can make it about 1.5 and if I want I can actually center that around this point so I'll go pick a circle tool over here to give me the, the radius of this area then I can actually pick this I can pick its center and make sure that it's aligned with the center of this circle around here now I drag a copy of this drag a copy bring it down here slightly offset it off the entrance or plant portion drag more copies of this uh, this this one we can reduce it to maybe like uh, 600 uh, this is 700 we take out 148 drag another copy of that uh, this one we offset it by 300 now assuming i offset this here by 600 Then I set this here by 300. You can drag that entire copy. Uh, then I shall set it by 300. So these uh, members are going to create some openings within this shell. Let's group them. We already know that this was slightly above six meters, so let's put them around seven meters. And then we go to 3D. They are below. We shall just pull them up at the same distance. So what we have here, these members are cutting across our shell. Uh, so we shall employ uh, the services of solid element operations. Uh, this will be uh, the target and this will be the operating elements. So we pick this 
highlight it, make it the target. Come and pick these in the group so that they are picked together. Pick them as the what? As the operator elements. Subtraction method, I want to subtract upwards with extrusion. Then I can extrude now. Having done that, I can close this. These ones, I can give them, uh, I have the layer here which I've been using before. So, they will disappear and I'll have my uh, shell with uh, these kind of openings that have been perforated through it. So once I've done that, I go back on the ground. I take back my glass uh, layer, um, transfer it by one point. I have taken it off by 18 meters. So it goes back into position. You look at that in 3D, it gives you this kind of effect. But uh, for better visibility, we are going to reduce the thickness of the glass. So here we shall give it uh, 50 millimeters. Once we do that, uh, can go back inside here, click on that, and then flip it outwards. And this will give us something like that. So once it has given us this, you can turn this into, uh, for instance, different uh, materials. We could turn this into, let's say, red. We could turn into this white. Uh, let's look for like uh, titanium white. Titanium, titanium white, white, white. What is it here? Okay, something like that. This is already in uh, glass blue, it's fine. And that generally gives us the kind of uh, shell structure that we are looking at. Now this opening you see here, it can always be closed. Uh, again, by the same method of using solid element operations uh, for instance, we could go back on the ground, uh, pick any, you can even pick a slab tool, bring it off uh, to this point, let me make it about uh, 100 millimeters, set it inside by that again, maybe extrude it off uh, a couple of millimeters. So that the final touches on that. Now its height, I have to give it about 6.5 meters. Uh, looking it at 3, 3D, we have something like that. It is below. Yeah, take it upwards by 6.5. This can change the material to, for uh, instance, again glass. Maybe this time glass lamp. Uh, that's okay. Now, once you've made this a glass lamp, again you come back to solid element operations. Uh, under design, solid element operations. Uh, this is going to be the target, okay? And this is going to, this is the target, this is the operator. So pick this as the operator, and you pick this as the target. Extrusion method subtract upwards, extrude. And there you have uh, you have uh, covering that front. Now, with this again, you can create so many other uh, options. 
just like in the image we had, we can go back on ground uh, and get for instance again a slab tool. Maybe something like this. That is 150, that's why it's not visible. Let's make it about uh, Let's make it about 2.4 meters. Could even make it like 3. Let's make it 3 meters. So look at this. Then it's down and pick it up. Now, once I do have this, I can again play around it with so many other options. You can turn the material, for instance, uh, to tighten and white. All of it. Once I've done this, I could make a copy. This copy, I can offset one of the copies to. Uh, Let's make it over 50. Now, this I could also take back this side to something like that. Uh, and make sure this is equal to 150. Let's see. This is 236, so that is minus 86 to be less than 150. We'll set this back downwards. And here we'll be having this kind of arrangement. So I can always create an opening into uh, this element here. And that will give me uh, the kind of shell uh, structure that has been presented in the, in the image we had. So this is how we can do that by use of uh, the shell tool in Magicat to create uh, thin shell concrete dome structures as seen in many designs. Thank you.